Hey guys, I hope you're doing well in Season 5 so far. Today I want to share with you the probably most powerful rogue build in the early endgame of Season 5 that you can play right now. And this is the Rapid Fire Rogue. So uh, I was leveling with my Flurry Rogue. Um, in my recent video I've shared with you my planner where you can find the leveling version of my Flurry Rogue. And it was very powerful, very fun, I really enjoyed it. But um, I have found some very powerful unique items on the way. So this made me think of swapping to Rapid Fire Rogue. So in fact I have found I think five different um, scoundrel kisses. So five times this unique ring that allows this Rapid Fire build here. And one of them was also with very godly rolls and I thought like, mm, well I should maybe swap to Rapid Fire and just uh, take a look at it, how it performs. And I can say it performs very well. So you can also see here I'm uh, clearing a tier 65 Nightmare Dungeon while I'm at level 92. So enemy level is slightly or like around 30 levels above my character level, which is very good in Season 5 because the level cap got increased to 30. Um, so 30 levels above your character level is a very good spot to level. And yeah, so after equipping my uh, Scoundrel Kiss and reskilling everything to rapid fire i just had to blast through leveling so i did it around level 80 i think and then i could carry basically my entire group through nightmare dungeons and all of this content in the game and yeah it's just very very powerful and i also was quite lucky this season so i have also found the condemnation i have found god slayer crown so this is the reason why all of these enemies get uh, pulled together I have also found a Sky Hunter, so I'm not sure if I was just Omega lucky and um, yeah, it's not representative at all, or they have maybe increased the general uh, drop rate for unique items, and many of them are also received during the bounty rewards, so they are also kind of useful, they drop unique items from time to time. So I thought if some of you has a similar experience and they just find one of these unique items quite early on, then I can just highly recommend you to switch your build and just be flexible and swap to a build that you uh, can play because you have found this unique. So for me this was the Scoundrel's Kiss Ring and if you have also found one of them then well you could also maybe swap to Rapid Fire. It's just very powerful, the most powerful build I believe right now and I actually didn't play it in season 4 so the build is quite similar to season 4 we also we are still playing with cold imbument uh, to boost our damage we are playing of course with combo points uh, here i'm playing with uh, heart seeker as my combo point generator but you can also play with puncture it's not a big difference puncture is uh, more efficient but uh, right now it's more fun to play with Heartseeker for me and also Heartseeker enables you to play more of a ranged style especially versus bosses it's more safe but yeah basically everything is similar to season 4 I also have made a video on my channel uh, in season 4 about Rapid Fire Rogue and like the Rogue class got buffed in general this season so obviously this build as well got buffed so for example we have Trick Attacks passive reworked which also double dips with precision currently so you have a big uh, damage bonus from Trick Attacks passive then we also have the reworked um, Legendary Note Tricks of the Trade I think yeah Tricks of the Trade so you also get 25% more damage from that and yeah so we have some slightly buffs here and there and this makes this build even more powerful and here you can see me clear a pit uh tier 61 and actually you can even clear a uh, pit 100 at this point so at least with uh, some similar gear than i have but the problem is the bosses are currently bugged so they have way more hp than they should have and i also feel they deal more damage than they should do so i guess we have to wait for a fix so the bosses gets easier that's the biggest problem right now why i cannot farm a tier 100 um with my low gear let's say also i didn't find any um dark shrouds chest plates so i'm not that tanky as i could be um but the entire pit until the boss is no problem at all so you can also speed farm in two to three minutes a tier 100 at this point with rapid fire rogue and you don't need too much of gear to do that so yeah it's uh pretty crazy so here we can i can just show you quickly uh the boss fight 
So even though the bosses are bugged at this pit tier, it's not too big of a problem. So the bosses die pretty fast here. We are also dealing tons of damage, as you can see in the damage numbers here. Once the boss gets staggered, even more than that. So yeah, 25 million uh, overpower at the crit. So yeah, pretty fun. And now I can share with you my setup here. So this is far from optimal, but um, well, I was kind of lucky, as I mentioned, with my unique items here. So Godslayer Crown, Sky Hunter, combination of very good unique items. If you find them on the, on the way, then uh, it's definitely worth it equipping them. I also found the Penitent Greaves on the way, which is also kind of cool. So more damage to chilled enemies, which also counts with uh, Cold Imbument. And of course, Scoundrel's Kiss, which I have found many of them. And this one has a pretty good roll, as I mentioned. Um, has plus three to rapid fire, nearly max roll at the power and also 9% attack speed. So yeah, pretty cool. Also, my amulet is kind of nice with uh, plus four ranks to malice. But the rest of the gear is just kind of normal gear. So nothing crazy, just some decent affixes. Um, I also have tempered Crit uh, critical strike damage as often as I could and so yeah this is what you can do here regarding aspects you just want uh, something like expectant for more damage you want as, as much as attack speed as possible for so for that reason we are playing with moonrise with rapid I also have repeating on my gloves so my rapid fire ricochets to more targets and defensively we just need something like Umbra's Aspect and Aspect of Might. So this should be enough in order to survive in uh, this higher tier pits, let's say. And now we can take a look at the skill tree. So here I'm playing with Heartseeker, you can also play with Puncture. Uh, it's not too big of a difference, Puncture a little bit more efficient, but Heartseeker keeps you safe at distance and boss fights. Of course we invest uh, as many points into Rapid Fire as possible. Then this buffed Methodical Dash, pretty cool. So we have three charges now. Um, trick attacks, broken as I mentioned, double dips with precision, gives you a huge damage bonus. Also unstable elixirs, pretty cool. You can just shadow step into a pack of enemies, press your healing potion and everything gets stunned. So very good for engaging fights and boosting your damage. Dark Shrouds, of course, enhanced smoke grenade for more damage, also works versus bosses now. Cold Imbuement. And here we have uh, Precision right now, I have 287% um, damage bonus boost. And the Paragon board, it's not optimized, this was kind of my leveling Paragon board. So there's also some potential, but uh, at least the most important um, uh, legendary notes are here. But if you take a look at my glyphs, for example, I have uh, mainly level 1 glyphs, so I have Ranger glyph. Uh, which gives me some more damage reduction. Here I have Exploit Glyph for making enemies vulnerable at the Cheap Shot board. Then here we have the Exploit Weakness board with Control Glyph for more damage. And then here I swapped at some point to No Witness. I just wanted to get more tanky with this uh, maximum life nodes here. So they give me around, uh, I don't know, 5k life maybe. So that's why I have a fluidity here for more life gain, life bonus. Um, then we go here to Tricks of the Trade, which is pretty easy, 25% more damage right now. You just have to spam your um, uh, dashes or, uh, and shadow steps from time to time. So here I'm playing with Ambush Glyph, which is actually, it makes no sense because I don't play with Caltrops anymore. So here we can play with... Uh, Turf instead, let's say. Uh, where's Turf? Do I use it already? Okay, here's Turf. So here we can also play with Turf for some more uh, damage reduction maybe, but then you have to um, switch some things. And here I have Eldritch Bounty for more damage with Cold Imbuement basically. So after I use Cold Imbuement, I will have more damage to uh, with uh, Cold Damage. So yeah, here, this glyph, um, you need to rework it a little bit. But this is mainly the Paragon board that you can also use in the early game, especially especially for your, uh, like after you found your Scoundrel's Kiss Ring. You can try to adjust a little bit here and there. 
And yeah, just the most powerful rogue build right now is it seems you don't need too much of gear. So you don't need a Sky Hunter. You can also play with a... I can show you the item I used to have before. I just used the bow um, and I have masterworked. Uh, I have tempered some... Oh, sorry, here. I have tempered some uh, chance to rapid fire projectiles to cast twice and critical strike damage. So I just used this ball before, it also worked very well. And also, condemnation is nothing you really need, but uh, it's pretty good if you have it, of course. So, yeah, this build is very good. Most powerful rogue build in the early end game of season 5. So, if you're also lucky enough to find a scoundrel kiss ring quite early on, then just maybe. Switch to this build and you have a, you will have a good time blasting through Diablo 4 content. So I'm not sure if I will make an uh, update video regarding Rapid Fire Rogue. Because I, my long term plan is to switch back to Flurry Rogue. Um, when I have acquired the most needed items for that. So uh, I believe Flurry, Lo Flurry Rogue will be also very powerful. So maybe my next video will be about Flurry Rogue again, but uh, yeah, we will see. Maybe I will also make a little bit some uh, more improvements to Rapid Fire Rogue. Okay guys, so thanks for watching and have a nice day and I see you in the next one. Bye bye.